Hi, I'm Natalie from SoHungryHippie.com, and today we are going to be talking zippers. I know some of you have emailed concerned about wavy zippers in your finished bags, and I wanted to go over a few points quickly so you have a reference and you can watch it anytime whenever you need a refresher. One of the most important things, at least for my patterns, my So Hungry Hippie Easy Zipper Cases and the Santorini Tote and the Trina Backpack, a couple of others that have zippers, is cutting it exactly to the length prescribed in the pattern. Because if the zipper is too long, you're going to have excess zipper tape that has to go somewhere. And so it's going to bunch up and be kind of like a wave like this in your bag. It has nowhere else to go. So you want to make sure you're cutting it exactly as prescribed in the pattern. The other thing is if you purchase your zippers from me, you can absolutely iron this. This zipper tape is often going to show up with creases or wrinkles and you just iron it. So I'm going to take you overhead and show you that. So here is my ironing surface, and here is my zipper tape right out of the roll, right out of the package, and my mini iron is on high heat. So I'm going to move my fabric here, and I'm just going to press this tape. I could press the teeth as well, they're nylon, but I tend to not do that. I just want to press the tape. That is just kind of smoothing everything out, getting out all the creases and bumps, wrinkles, anything like that. I can, I can go over the teeth as well. I wanted to show you that. They're not going to melt. You may want to just turn it over, give it a press from the back as well. Okay. So now it's sitting a little more nicely. Now if I have a wrinkle somewhere that's really stubborn, I may spray it with some starch or flatter or even just water might help. And I'll iron that wrinkle out. And that'll dry further in a few minutes. Now, I will mention, if you are using a woven jacquard zipper, such as our Tiny Stripes zippers, this is a woven zipper tape, you never want to snip that zipper tape because you're messing up the integrity of the tape and it will come unraveled and ruin your make. So I know one of the patterns, like the Yarrow, calls for snipping the tape. You can do that with a color like this, a solid non-jacquard zipper tape. But when it's the tiny stripes, you don't want to snip it anywhere ever, ever. <laughs> I wanted to mention that before I forget. Okay, let's go back overhead. So another tool that I find absolutely necessary in my zipper insertion arsenal is double-sided sticky tape. We have this in the shop. It's from by Annie. You get two wheels in one package. And I like to put it closer to that outer edge when I'm applying this to a bag. And I do it on both sides. And this, is, it's like basting your zipper in place. So instead of stitch basting, you're basting it with tape, which it's just faster and easier in my opinion. So let's pretend my zipper is this long in the bag. I'm gonna press that down with my fingers and then usually I'll do one side at a time and peel that paper up. And then let's say this is my bag. Actually, I'm gonna straighten out this cut so that it's not gonna drive anyone too crazy. This is just, you know, for demo's sake, this is not a real bag, but let's pretend this is an easy zipper case and this is the top edge. I would then take that peeled side and place it with that top edge and press it down. Now, if you wanted to, you can run your iron over it. You don't have to do that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And now it's going to hold in place as I sew it. 
Now when I'm sewing this zipper on, I like to use a zipper foot. I don't have one here with me today, so I'm not gonna change it. And if you don't have one, I wanna show you what I do with my normal foot. But what will help, this is a number five size zipper tape. What will help is if you can draw on your seam allowance at 3 8 of an inch. I don't know why, but it just helps. And it'll help you have a non-waving zipper. I'm going to trim this down a little bit for easier demo purposes. Okay, so let's go to the machine. If you can move your needle, if you don't have a zipper foot, see if you can do that and get right exactly on your seam allowance. So mine is a 3 8 inch. I could also use my magnetic seam guide and make the seam perfect. So use tools that help you for sure. I'm gonna start sewing. I'm using a Guterman all-purpose thread. I am not pushing, I am not pulling on the zipper tape. Everything is just letting the feed dogs do their job. You don't have to go fast. You can go as slow as you like. If you need to hold the ends, use your stiletto or your easy point and press tool. And there it is. It is on. Now bring it back over. And then I like to press that seam allowance down. And I will often just bring my iron in again. And it's very straight. There are no waves, no puckering. It's going to be great. So now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to peel off my double sided sticky tape paper. I'm going to grab my other piece of fabric. Let me get it over here. Another trick if you're bag making is you do want to make sure that your fabrics are really nice and flat and pressed ahead of time as well. So if mine is not pressed yet, or if it doesn't have interfacing on it, I would do all that ahead of time. Okay, so now I'm going to place this raw edge, even with that raw edge on the zipper. Pressing it down. See how it holds it in place? So I know that if I move on the machine, it's going to hold it in place for me. I don't have to worry too much about anything coming loose or not working. It's going to hold it. That tape is magic. I suggest you get some, in fact, a couple of packs. I have one beside every machine. I just, I know that it helps me, even though I've been sewing for a long time, it helps me, so I use it. Okay, let's sew this side on. Again, I'm starting right here, 3 8 inch seam allowance. I am not pushing or pulling and I just let the feed dogs do the work. So it's attached. I'm gonna fold it up and finger press. If you're dealing with lots of layers, you might want to use your nylon mallet. Sometimes if foam is in here, I'll take my mallet and do this and then go in with the iron. If you're seeing any curving, now's the time to fix it. Now I can top stitch. And again, do not 
pull or push on your fabric. Allow it to feed through your machine with the feed dogs doing all of the work. Here it is. I'll bring it back to the surface. I always press it again. And there it is. So one of the things that I have seen happen is if, let's say for instance, my Santorini tote, it calls for a shorter zipper than the, than the body pieces because we're putting on zipper tabs and we're never sewing over any zipper tabs or any of that. It all gets missed when you're sewing the bag together. But I will see people cut the zipper too long. So they missed it in the instruction for whatever reason and they make the zipper go all the way across and maybe they're trying to fit the zipper tabs in on the end and then you'll get that wave action with the zipper. So that's why I say really make sure your zipper is cut to length. Not all patterns are written for zipper by the yard. I have noticed in some really popular patterns that they're writing for nylon coil zippers such as the kind you get in big box stores with that metal zipper stop end and lots of extra on each end. And if that's the case then you need to cut your zipper tape if you're using by the yard about an inch and a half longer. But test it before you put it in. If it's a window that you're covering, make sure you're covering the window fully and your zipper isn't too short. If you need it to fit within some seam allowances and not go into the seam allowances, you need to make sure it's small enough. So a lot of sewing is learning by mistake or paying attention as you're sewing and realizing, oh, so I can adjust this pattern a little bit to suit the, the materials that I'm using. It happens all the time for me with vinyl. I have noticed some patterns say, this is not suitable for vinyl, there are too many layers, and I think, yeah, right, is gonna be fine. And I have to adjust it a little bit by maybe using a different interfacing or no interfacing or grading my seams, even though the pattern doesn't tell me to do that, or using a hammer to smash down my seams, even though the pattern doesn't say that. So just give yourself some freedom and the allowance to try different methods and explore a little bit so that you can find what works for you best. If you're using a number three zipper tape, which is less wide than a number five, you might wanna draw on your seam allowance at a quarter of an inch and then sew down that line. Some zipper tape will have a faint line that you can see and you can follow that line as your seam allowance going down the tape, but I've noticed not all has that. So if you need to use a Harrow marker, I've got mine here somewhere, and draw on your seam allowance for a while and sew that, do it, it's fine. You can also, like I did, use the magnetic seam guide. Don't be afraid to use tools like a stiletto, easy point and press, that's kind of a tool. I often will use chalk to mark seams. You wanna use a strong thread if you can. If cotton works for you, that's great. It's just, this is what I use. And absolutely get yourself some double-sided sticky tape. This is the brand I recommend. It is very sticky, but at the same time, it's not so sticky that you can't readjust. It's not super duper permanent. In other words, it doesn't gum up your needle. If you're finding you're having issues with that, then place it towards the outer edge like I showed you in the demo, and then your needle's not hitting it at all. I use Chrome Microtex needle size 8012. I also use Universal Chrome size 8012, and I've never had any issues with any gumming up at all. Press your zipper tape. It will help you so much. Make sure your bag fabrics are pressed. Make sure your zipper tape is pressed. Press, press, press. It's like the biggest hidden 
secret in sewing is the more you press, the longer you take or more thoroughly you prepare, your project will end up that much better. Don't try to slam through things. That's Nobody wants to rush and feel anxious. Take your time. If a bag takes you a month, who cares? Nobody's keeping score. Your output does not determine your worth. Don't compare yourself to somebody who's been sewing for years or somebody who had to sew to pay the heating bill. Okay, That's why I'm fast. I don't pride myself in being fast because I know why I'm fast and it was out of necessity. So, yeah, just, just be kind to yourself. And explore with these techniques and see what works for you. If you have another secret that you employ to get your zipper super straight, I would love to hear about it. Mention it in the comments. All right, I will see you next week. Thank you for being here. I'll see you soon.